Good morning. It is eight o'clock on the dot. We are checked out of the Bohemian Hotel. I don't know if I'm supposed to go bring my keys down, um, but I'm gonna do that. They are beautiful keys, by the way. Look at, gorgeous. So, but we are on our way, so let's go. Well, we were off to a little bit of a rocky start this morning. Um, I had a lift schedule, but I was ready earlier, so I figured I would try and get a different one. And this lift situation, it's like crazy. There, it's very hard to get a lift, at least from a celebration. Um, this is the second day now, so I wanted to say like on a Monday, but it was rough on Sunday too. So. But I did secure one. I couldn't do the cheapest option, but I really just want to get where I'm going. So I'm paying a little bit extra. It is what it is. In other news, I am freezing right now. I'm sitting outside, waiting for my lift, and I am so cold. It's like 50, maybe 58, like 60 degrees. Maybe 60, but very cold. Uh, if I am not the clumsiest person, I dropped my bags like three times in the hallway trying to get up to the room. I even dropped a bunch of stuff as soon as I got in the door. So, first and foremost, before we go any further, wow, the staff at the Swan. I have not been met with such professionalism in a long time. So, wow, Swan. You're killing it. But here we are. We are in the room. Of course, I'm going to do a full room tour and uh, all that good stuff. But we're making it quick right now because I'll show you the outside. I can find it. And we're making it quick right now because Epcot is going to be open any minute. So there's my very not view of a view. Wow, this beautiful hotel. Just did a quick little walk around and I did my like room tour. I know I said I was gonna do that, but then I didn't. Um, so quickly for you, here we have the bathroom. It's pretty, pretty clean. People always complain about these older hotels and I don't know, like this one doesn't feel gross, grimy or anything like that. It doesn't feel old. Um, I showed you the view already, but yeah. I'm pretty happy. The price is unbeatable. So anyway, I am going to take a second, collect myself, grab my stuff, and we're going to head to Epcot. So let's go. In my haste to find a lift this morning, I forgot to square away Remy's. So I just went and booked myself a lightning lane for Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. It cost me $9.45 and I picked a time around 6.30 to 7.30. So that's what we're gonna do. Standby and the virtual queue is not available right now, but I don't know if it's just because it's too early, I don't know. But, we're gonna ride. So it's currently 9.40 and we're just getting through security now. Just moving. We've been stopped for the past like 10-15. So that's weird. Okay, so it's still early entry. The park hasn't opened yet. We went through security and the, you know, Magic Band touch points. And then we had to get our Magic Band boops one more time. So, anyway, let's turn you around. Looks like we definitely do not have fountains on those barges. Not quite yet. There are like projections, but no fountains. Or not projections, like little movies. But Christmas is here. All right, let's keep moving our way forward. The next order of business is finding some breakfast because I'm starving. Um, I don't know exactly where I'm gonna do that. 
everything's pretty much closed in World Showcase though, so we'll, we'll just play it by ear. Okay, we're gonna start our day off right. Let's go do Soren. What do you say? Soren is like one of my absolute favorites. The music gets me going every time. And there's only a 10 minute wait so far. At least that's what I saw, so. I'm making the right choice, I think. Welcome to our living laboratory, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. The sustainable system we're using here recycles the water in the tanks. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. I just love Soren. It's like my favorite thing. Um, gets me going every time, like, gets me emotional. Yeah. So, anyway. Uh, and while I was in there, I did Living with the Land. Oh, monorail! While I was in there, I did Living with the Land. But now I really need to find some food because I don't know. Like, there's there's not a lot here at Epcot this early in the morning. I was not prepared for this. All right, so I have abandoned getting food back by. It's Beja Burr, and I'm gonna move back into World Showcase now. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll get lucky. Oh, the booths are open. All right, where are we gonna eat? Not the Impossible Slider. Let's let's keep going. I have acquired breakfast, Belgian waffle with berries, and um, pretty good. I can't really complain for. $4.50. They have 50th anniversary collectible coins, the medallions, and I just got some. So that's pretty exciting. Hanging out over here. Oh, there's a photo pass over there. Let's go see what that is. What photo pass is happening? Oh, it's the Christmas tree. Oh, let's go get our picture with the Christmas tree. Mexico is like one of my favorite pavilions. And the reason is because it's nighttime in here, which I just think is the coolest thing. So, Let's go do the Grand Fiesta tour. It is a five minute wait. So let's do it. I will say that this is one of the tightest queues ever. Not a fan. Mexico Pavilion, like I said, but there's really only so much to do if you're not doing the Grand Fiesta Tour, eating, or drinking. So kind of go, enjoy what you're gonna enjoy, and then move on, which is what we're gonna do. So let's see. If there's anything else going on. Sometimes there's characters back there. Not right now, but sometimes. But anyway, let's keep moving and seeing what we can find. So here's a quick look at those medallions before we move on. We're just kind of sitting um, right after Mexico. 
So on the back side, they say Walt Disney World. And then they have different characters. There's one. Got Genie. Jiminy Cricket. Just having a moment there. And Figment. So these were $15 for all four. Um, yeah, it's pricey, but you know what? I know that Russ loves these and I wanted the Figment one. So worth the money. And they're a cute little souvenir that are small and easy to carry around, easy to gift, easy to keep. I know that not everyone is concerned with like the size of souvenirs, but if you're traveling light and you don't necessarily want to have like a big plush or something, those medallions are the way to go. Anyway, let's take a look around Norway. I haven't like looked at these countries in a long time. So it looks like this is where you normally meet Anna and Elsa. I have not had the pleasure of meeting either of those princesses. One day maybe. Maybe people are waiting here for that. The wandering reindeer. Hmm. No matter what it costs you, nothing can hurt you. Not stone, nor spear, nor the sharpest of swords. So now we're walking toward China. There are some interesting food options here, but none of them like speak to me. So we're gonna skip them for now. And we're gonna make our way into Reflections of China, which is gonna be in here. Isn't that beautiful? This is like one of the many places in the pavilion that you can skip because you're not thinking anything of it, but it is just gorgeous. Oh wow, look at the paintings. I love these, I have such a soft spot for this. But now we're gonna sit and wait for a little bit. On second thought, Okay, how cute is this? I feel like I need it, but I definitely don't. How much is this thing? Hold on. $21.95. So cute. Look, you can even get your dog a tag. I like this one. My dogs do need new tags. We did just move. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, we'll see. But for now, let's head out of China and talk a little bit about travel. I've heard a lot of people kinda get cranky about Disney and they talk about how Disney isn't like real travel and everything. And you know, I think honestly, to each their own. But I do think that there is something to be said for the adventures you can have when you are traveling to a place like Disney. And quite frankly, if you are someone who's always wanted to travel and you don't know where to start, coming to a place like Epcot and having an opportunity to get a taste of all these different countries is really cool. We'll talk more about that later, but I think there's a boba tea I wanted to get my hands on. So let's 
Let's see. So the tea is located at that booth right there, but the line is like out of control. So moving on, we'll go back plenty of time. Hey, I'm up here. So just had the food from Kenya. I got both the shrimp and the tenderloin and oh my God, so good. Both of them, get them both. $6 and I think $6.50 for the other one. So about six bucks each and so worth it. Definitely, definitely recommend. And now we're skipping Germany and um, making our way toward, well, as you can see, we're headed toward, oh goodness, Italy. Why am I failing you now? Um, beautiful out right now oh still guys what is this i'm not digging it now i don't know if you can see this but disney has put a water reflection like water ripples that mirror the ripples of the water on the harmonious barges you're not fooling anyone disney we know they're there Get the fountains going. All right, so I'm sitting for a second outside the American Adventure. I do want to head in there because there's a gingerbread house for the holidays, so I want to check that out. Anyway, 115 is the next show for the American Adventure, and I'm not sure if I just want to like hang out until then or if I want to like keep going. I think I might just hang out for a little bit, maybe get a drink from somewhere, although I have no idea where I will get a drink from. So let me look and I'll get back to you. All right, let's see what is available. So I'm over here right now and I know there's some stuff here in American Adventure. The Marketplace, um, I don't think they have any good drinks. Hops and Barley, what do they have? Let's look at their menu. New England lobster roll. Now, I am going to get a lobster roll this trip, but it's probably going to be from the booth, um, or actually not a lobster roll, but the lobster tail. Oh my goodness, sounds so good. Okay, let's go down to beverages. Oh, I can just smell the smoke from the smokehouse. It smells so good. Um, I'm not a huge barbecue fan, but oh, that smoky smell, mm, smells so good. Okay, beer flights and grab and go water. So, I'm not really into beer, so I guess we're not gonna do that. Let's see what else is nearby real quick. Ooh, there is Japan. Anything good in Japan? Ooh, there is shave ice, which is nice. Funnel cake, I'm not really interested in funnel cake. There is a coffee, oh goodness, my fingers. Um, there is a coffee stand right over here. Maybe I'll just head over there and get a coffee. They have this like cinnamon chai thing that looks good. So maybe that's what we'll do. I got my coffee. Well, is it really coffee? It's a cinnamon chai. Um, I've already taken a good amount of the whipped cream off of it. And I feel like this would be a good opportunity to try out my new scrunchie. <laughs> okay, so if you guys don't know, I talked about this in, a, in another video. It's called the Nightcap, and it is a scrunchie that is designed to prevent you from having your drink spiked if you're at the club or something, if you're at a bar. But I thought that this would be perfect for Disney because see, Disney doesn't give lids. Sometimes you want a lid. So, um, how this works is there's a little pocket, you pull it out, and then this goes over your cup. So we're gonna try it, but first we have to take our little cookie out, because we're gonna eat that. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, and there's a hole for the straw, so let's try and do this, while also looking graceful. I am not succeeding, hold on. I can't like eat a cookie and do this at the same time. Look at that. 
Look at that. It's a little cup. I'm a cup. You can take the scrunchie, put it right there around the cup, and boom. That's pretty great. This is nice because, like, I feel like I could walk around with this much easier than, like, without a cover on. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I think it, I think it's pretty great. I love it. While I'm finishing up my my drink, um, let's talk a little bit about Disney Genie. I've been doing my research and. I have seen that there are some good suggestions every now and again that come up on people's like my day, not the tip board, that's a different thing, but on the whole my day thing. For me, at least today, I feel like there weren't a lot of suggestions in the morning and that seemed odd. I did a little screen grab of it, so I'll put that in maybe. So I decided to stop into um, Disney Genie and see what their recommendations were for me for today. I am not doing Disney Genie Plus today, but there are no recommendations until about 11.55. So it's still fairly early. Not digging this for today at least, but we'll keep checking back. So the second thing about Disney Genie that I wanted to comment on is whether or not it is worth paying the $15 at Epcot. Now I did not do the $15 today, but I think that it might be worth it, mainly because there are three attractions, not the ones that you have to pay extra for, that's Remy's and Frozen, but there are three attractions that have weights that, I don't know, I feel like, it, why wait that long? I certainly think it would be worth paying the $15 to not have to wait on those attractions if you wanted to make Epcot like a half day park, which I think you could, but that's my personal opinion. Maybe we'll talk more about that later. We'll have to see if the wait times go down later in the day because it is like midday right now. So um, we'll see, but for now I'm gonna go toss this and make my way over to the American Adventure so that we can go watch that show because it's a good show. In the rotunda right now. I thought they were gonna have some sort of gingerbread house, but I guess I was wrong. Oh well. Let's go watch the American Adventure. I love the American Adventure. I feel like I keep talking about how much I love some of these things, but it's really just because the music is so good. <laughs> and I really love the music of the American Adventure. So anyway, we are walking now past the where Voices of Liberty usually are nowadays. And I don't know, what are we gonna do next? Well, you're just gonna have to wait and find out. Look guys, this was a really long video, so I'm breaking it up into two, but as always, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.